Good evening, everyone. Thank you once again for being here at David Senior Methodist Church. I'm not going to talk long, but we're thrilled to have you here, and we're even more thrilled to have Kara Fox on cello and, of course, Fernando Ortega playing here for the second time. Um, we will do a whole concert, no intermission, so you were warned. Um, but without any further ado, please welcome Fernando Ortega. Thank you very much. Please sing with me on this first song if you know it. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, Thou silver moon with softer gleam, Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rushing wind that art so strong, ye clouds that sail in heaven along. Oh, praise him, alleluia. Thou rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice. Oh, praise him, oh, praise him, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. And all ye men of tender heart, forgiving others, take your part. Oh, see. Alleluia, ye who long pain and sorrow bear, praise God and on Him cast your care, oh praise Him, oh praise Him, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is a hymn from the Welsh Revival. Here is love 
Vast as the ocean, loving kindness as the flood, when the prince of life, our ransom, shed for us his precious blood, who his love will not remember, who can cease to sing his praise. Will never be forgotten throughout heaven's eternal days. On the mount of crucifixion, fountains open deep and wide. Through the floodgates of God's mercy flowed a vast and gracious tide. Grace and love like mighty rivers poured in and from above and heaven's peace and perfect justice kissed a guilty world in love grace and love like mighty rivers poured in and from above and heaven's peace and perfect justice kissed a guilty world in love thank you thanks very much I've been looking forward to this concert uh, for a long time, and especially when I found out that they uh, had, uh, had acquired this piano. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not, but um, it's an amazing piano. It's a, it's a Mason Hamlin, uh, and, which is a really great, it's a smaller, smaller company, but they make very high-end pianos. This particular piano was uh, built in 1928. Um, I have uh, a Mason Hamlet in my, in my home, in my studio, uh, that was built in 1926, uh, and, and that was the year that my mom was born. And uh, I had it completely re-finished re, uh, and the insides completely redone, new action, new hammers, new, new soundboard, uh, strings and everything, and it just was, it's an amazing instrument. And then this one is two feet and two inches longer than my piano at home. It's a beast of a... Of a you know, we're having to tame it in this room. <laughs> but they're just fantastic pianos. You know, I spent uh, a lot of money getting my piano redone. Uh, I mean, it was like 30 some thousand dollars to get it all done. But um, th uh, two weeks after they delivered it to the house, my daughter, who was uh, two years old at the time, I think, went with her favorite stickers and uh, went around the entire uh, case of the piano. And they were those kind that they're not, they're supposed to not, never come off. So I left them on there. I cried for a while, like a week. Um, and then I put her in time out uh, in a dark closet for a, a, a month. <laughs> she was so cute, you know, I, I didn't, I really didn't uh, get angry. I was kind of bummed. Finally, some guy came and took off the little duckies and bunnies and everything. Here's another hymn. I grew up singing hymns. A lot of you uh, might have done the same. I, I rewrote the melody to, to Great is Thy Faithfulness, which is like a scary thing to do. Uh, and, and when I did that and played it for our congregation back home, they immediately hated me. But then after a while, they, they liked it okay. So. Great 
is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest Sun, moon and stars in their courses above Join with all nature in manifold witness To thy great faithfulness, mercy and love Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Kevin mentioned my friend Kara Fox is playing. Please welcome her. She, she, uh... <laughs> Kara's from Nashville. Um, she lives there with her husband, Jared, and their two awesome kids. They're amazing. I always say this, Kara, forgive me, but they're just amazing parents. And, and um, I don't know what I was going to say about that. I was going to say <laughs> something crazy. If I ever died and got uh, reincarnated, I know we're Christians and we don't believe in reincarnation, but if that did happen, I'd, w I'd want to be born a kid in that family because they take such... <laughs> that's, that's kind of sweet, but kind of weird at the same time. I, I mean, like some people went, oh, and some people went, what? So, Ruby, my daughter, is 15. She's a handful in all the best ways. She's a fantastic student. She's, she loves music. She listens to everything. The other day she was listening to... The, uh, to uh, uh, Kara Opera by Smetana. Uh, the Smetana Opera, I think you only wrote like one. Um, and it bartered, the Bartered Bride. She was listening to The Bartered Bride in her room. 
She was in all state choir last week, and it was just fantastic. Or a week before last, it was just fantastic. They sang that piece of the, uh, from the, uh, one of the choruses from the Barter Bride, Mozart Requiem. They did a number from there, Lacrimosa. And it was just incredible how much music they did. Uh, but Ruby was born in Advent, and Advent came to be very special for, for us and our family because of her birth. I think I might have talked about her birth last time. Uh, uh, you know, it was funny in, in the nursery. Uh, after she was born, I, I, was, I was a nervous wreck just all night and, and running up and down different floors and checking in on my wife and checking in on the baby. And finally, I got to settle down, you know, and they, and they um, uh, gave her all these tests and they, and they gave her her first bath. And the nurse said, go, go wash your hands. And I, so I did. And I came up to her little, they were, you know, this is a big nursery at a big maternity hospital. So there was all these rows of plastic bins uh, with babies in them, dressed in swaddling clothes. Um, and uh, so I came up and I grabbed her, her toe and I was looking at her and just uh, feeling very blessed, very moved. I, I was blown away how much she looked like my mom uh, and, and that she looked like me but still managed to be beautiful. And uh, <laughs> so I started praying for her, you know, that she would grow up and know God as her friend and that she would call upon him in her times of trouble. Um, and I, as I thought of those things and looked at her face and, and just held on to her, her little toe, I, I started weeping, you know, and um, praying and weeping. And finally a nurse come, came up to me and put her arm on my shoulder and she said, Mr. Ortega, that one's not your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had missed it by one bin. Uh, and then I was all confused, you know, like, why does that kid look like my mom? Um, it's funny, like, how, she, how I, I sent, even, like, from the very beginning, I was, like, sending out masses of photos of her, you know, thinking everything she did and sending them to all my friends. And, and now that I look at those photos, you know, uh, she looked a little reptilian, if I have to be honest. Uh, <laughs> She's a beautiful kid now, but she was all like, since she was, pre, she was premature, so she was very tiny, five pounds and two ounces, so she was like really shriveled up, you know. Nothing that a little uh, facial surgery didn't uh, <laughs> fix when she was 10 and then again 12. That was a joke. That was not even funny, was it? Like, I've, I'm, on, I'm doing bad. Why don't we just play the song uh, that I wrote for her uh, during, um, uh, during Advent. It's called Ruby's Advent Song.
Thank you. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace to you from God our Father. is supposed to sound like. Man, that's really big. Uh, I've been singing hymns all my life. Uh, um, I grew up in the church, in the Presbyterian church, and, um, and uh, you know, my, my family converted to the Presbyterian church. Uh, my, I mean, we, we came from Catholic roots, but um, on both sides, my mom and, and dad, um, they both became Presbyterians. Uh, I mean, my, their, gra- their parents became Presbyterians in the early uh, 1900s. Kind of a scandalous thing, really, when it happened. But my parents met in, in um, a Presbyterian boarding school. And, um, and, and so everybody, everybody was into hymns and, and, and hymnals and singing from hymnals. My uncle on my mom's side, uh, Uncle David, uh, he was my great uncle, was a ch- uh, church organist in his Presbyterian church up in uh, the hill country, the mountain country of Mora, New Mexico. He wasn't very good. Um, at a, as an organist, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but, uh, so no, I, I'm kidding. He, he was, he's very, he, he played with a lot of, of flair and he, he just loved 
dressing up hymns. He had one of those massive uh, Yamaha organs, those early things that had the, like the buttons you could push for rhythms. So, you know, bum chicka bum chicka bum chicka bum chicka, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and he would play hymns to this, uh, even in church on Sunday mornings. And the, 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 the beats never, if they matched the, the hymn, it, it was not important, or if they, if they didn't match the hymn, it was not. But anyway, uh, this organ also had a, like a cassette deck that you could um, re- stick a cassette tape in and record yourself. And he recorded hours of himself playing uh, these perverse arrangements of hymns. Um, <laughs> it'd be like, you know, boom, chicka dun, chicka dun, chicka dun, chicka dun, then boo, doo, 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 chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. So he was very sick when he passed from cancer. Not, not uh, too sick that he couldn't request that these cassettes be played at his funeral. <laughs> so, so I'll never forget, you know, this lady walks into the funeral. The casket was open, and he was lying there, and this lady walks in, a Mexican lady with a shawl and, and a boombox, and, and plants the thing under the casket, and they hit play. And so we just sat there, like, not knowing whether we were supposed to cry or kind of groove, you know, like... <laughs> It was, it was wild. Uh, so then, anyway, they played through the whole thing. Finally, the pastor that spoke had to turn off the cassette, the, the, the boom box. And, uh, the, but then she carried that thing out to the graveside, and, and, w- and we listened to that as we all came to the graveside. We were all sitting on the, little, the astroturf, you know, um, on the little, off little folding chairs. The preacher was from El Salvador. He was a powerful preacher. He's passed away now. Everybody knew him in New Mexico because he was, so he was five foot one, I think. He was a very, very short person. And somebody built him a platform uh, made of plywood that he called his plataforma, that he would carry the plataforma everywhere he would speak and plop it down and gain immediately, you know, another seven inches or so in height. And he could see over most pulpits that way. Uh, But anyway, he came up to the head of the grave and plunked down the plataforma and started to speak, and he lifted his arms and to say something, and the earth gave way, and he fell into the grave. <laughs> uh, I mean, from where me and my brother were, we, we, could, we could see under the casket those, the metal bars, uh, that his elbows had caught on the metal thing, and he was trying to kick his way out of the, of the grave. And then the, uh, some of the ushers came and fished him out, and. He was, all, he was all covered in mud and still praying. He, he also spoke at my grandmother's funeral uh, several years later, but when he brought the plataforma there, he, he was about 20 feet away from the, from the foot of the grave. It was very funny. Why did I tell that story? I don't remember. I thought it would bless you, and it would, it would re- make you happy. All right, here's another hymn, Immortal Invisible. God only wise in light inaccessible hid from our eyes most blessed most glorious the ancient of days almighty victorious thy great name we praise Unresting, unhasting, and silent as light Nor wanting, nor wasting, Thou rulest in might Thy justice like mountains, high soaring above Thy clouds which are fountains of goodness and love
to all life thou givest to both great and small in all life thou livest the true life of all we blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree and wither and perish but not change in thee great father Thank you. So, I want you to sing on this one. Y'all know the hymn, uh, I don't ever say y'all, I'm Mexican for crying out loud. Uh, the y'all ever sing this hymn, uh, How Firm a Foundation? You, if you know it, please sing along. And if you don't, just be quiet and, and no, you can sing. It might be in the, are there hymnals in the, in the pews? Huh, let's see. Five who? I get five and nine, but 529. 529 in your hymnals, open up, up, please. Was that you, Kevin, yelling, barking out orders from the back? <laughs> How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he hath said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O oh, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand, upheld by my righteous omnipotent hand. When through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be thy supply. The flame shall not hurt thee, I only design thy dross to consume and thy gold to refine. The 
soul that on Jesus hath leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That soul, though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake that soul, though all hell should endeavor to shake. I will never, no, never, no, never forsake. light so pure and bright dispel the darkness of our hearts that by your brightness we may know the light incarnate word grant that the light deep and kindled in our hearts shine forth and give us divine light day spring of life true light from light pour into every broken heart peace and virtue Blinded by the light, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, we sing thy praises in our hearts. God of heaven, giver of all life. That last song was, uh, uh, it's taken from an ancient text. Uh, it's called Fos Hileron. Um, I don't even know what language that is. Every time I try and find out, I, I, I forget. I, mean, I think I'm gonna find out and then I forget. But anyway, it was written by um, David Gunger from the, the Gunger Brothers who, um, I, I can't remember, did you play with Michael Gunger or David Gunger? Both, yeah. So anyway, I love the song. It's really a song for, for Epiphany, the Light of Christ, uh, going out into the world in us and through us. Uh, and this is a, uh, a song I wrote for a congregation in California that I served uh, a long, long time ago. It's called I Will Praise Him Still.
When the morning falls on the farthest hill, I will sing His name. I will praise Him still. When dark trials come and my heart is filled with the weight of doubt, I will praise Him still. For the Lord our God, He is strong to save from the arms of death, from the deepest grave. And He gave us life in His perfect will, so by His good grace I will praise Him still. When the morning falls on the farthest hill, I will sing His name, I will praise Him still. When dark trials come and my heart is filled with the weight of doubt, I will praise Him still. Thank you, thank you. I have a friend in California, Elaine Rubenstein is her name. Um, she and her husband, Peter, used to teach poetry workshops at the local college, and I took uh, classes from both of them. In fact, uh, under Elaine's uh, teaching uh, and help, I, I wrote you know, some of the first songs uh, um, that I liked, anyway, that were, that were any good, um, way 30-some years ago. Uh, but over the years, we've written uh, uh, quite a few songs, We're, and we've just been working on new stuff for a new record I have coming out. I've been saying that for a, a year now. I, I have never worked so long on a record, but uh, I'm, I'm recording it at, at uh, my house, most of it, uh, all the vocals and piano anyway. And, uh, and my neighbor has five between, at a given time, she's an Irish wolfhound breeder. So have you ever seen an Irish wolfhound? Um, they're, they're huge dogs. She has, right now there are five. So anyway, when they bark, I, it's, not, uh, it's not easy to record. I have an app on my phone for, I, I'm also into birding, and I have an app on my phone uh, that identifies bird calls called, called Merlin. It's not always accurate, and, and, and here's a case in point. Um, every time her dogs bark, uh, the, my birding app says, there's wild turkeys in my backyard. <laughs> So it's, it's uh, not perfect technology, but anyway, I love Betty, and, and, and I love her dogs, too. She takes them to the airport and for people to, to pet them, and uh, so I'm really not complaining. It's not, not an issue, um, just in case she's listening. But if she's, not, it's, if she's not listening, it is a real issue. I'm kidding. It's terrible. That's, you know, stuff that you can't take back. I, for my whole life, uh, I have watched words come out of my mouth that I wish hadn't, and then you're like, Come back. Uh, 
So here's a song I, Elaine wrote when her mom had had a stroke, and she and her husband, Peter, who's six foot six, maybe six seven, he's really tall, uh, they, had, they were taking a train out because he hates planes, uh, and they just didn't know what they'd find when they got to New York where they lived um, from California. Um, so I have to drink water now, sorry. I faced away because often water just comes dribbling down my face. I'm at that age. Like when you eat on an airplane and food just involuntarily sprays out of your mouth. Okay. There's a slow train pulling through the desert The colored cars pass quietly from sight Between the highway and the long horizon Precious dreams Wind away with the light My brothers and my sisters' faces linger The hours of our childhood, grave and gold Driving through these solitary places Memories of their gentle kinship touch my soul The hawk wheels away as we pass here The clouds below and fly on down the road some hard turns are gonna shake us ride with us through the breaking of the dawn I worry for my loving mother The dimming years The trials she has known Her heart so kind and so weary Keep her safe one more night till I get home How I long to be right there beside her And bring everything back to before We'll arrive with the first light of the morning Keep her safe Let me hold her once more The sage and the Joshua tree remind me Of the miles to go the journey that we're on In the still, sweet air of the desert We will ride through the breaking of the dawn We will ride through the breaking of the dawn
Thank you very much. My own mom passed away since I, I used to sing that song and, and I always think about Elaine's mom. But, it, it, you know, I worry for my mother, for my loving mother, the dimming years, the trials she has known. My mom went through a lot in her life. She was such a, a radiant, hilarious person. She was like the Ortega, the, the sun in the Ortega um, uh, solar system. Um, and, uh, and so it was, it was huge uh, losing her. I, I thought about her yesterday on the plane and just had a little, had to cover my head with my uh, coat um, because I just, uh, I just, I miss her so much. Uh, my father too, he died in 2017. And uh, my dad was a, was a, you know, a diplomat in the end of his, uh, in the end of his career and traveled all over the world um, working for the State Department. Um, but mom, uh, she, I, I was thinking of her as I was singing that song. She, she uh, was a very funny person. She, you know, <laughs> hilarious. But one morning, um, I was staying at their house. Uh, after, this is after I had moved to California, but I came up to visit, and mom got up in the morning. My dad had been through all kinds of really hard uh, problems, physical problems, a heart attack. He had diabetes. He had, he, he had to have a kidney transplant, and it, it, it was really an intense time. When he got the kidney transplant, they said, you know, he'll live another five years probably, but he lived 17 with that kidney, so it was pretty great. But anyway, I got up, and, and my mom was sitting at the table in a ponderous uh, mood, and she said, um, I had a dream about you last night, mijito. And uh, so I, um, I asked her to tell it, and she said, uh, she said, there was a big, like a valley with water in it, and you came riding up to the valley on a horse. The horse was only like 12 inches tall, so you were tiny. <laughs> and uh, so she said, you wanted to cross through the water, so you came down, but it was too deep. But pretty soon you went anyway, mijito. You went into the water, and before you know it, the water was over your head. Your little cowboy hat came off, and uh, you were blowing bubbles out of your mouth, calling for help. And all of a sudden, on the other side, um, there were a bunch of horsemen. They were normal size. And uh, the, the main guy, she said, came down into the water, and he picked you up, mijito, onto his horse, and he carried you to the other side. And I thought, wow, this is like a, a Mexican version of Ezekiel or Daniel or something, you know, it's like a prophetic dream. And I said, Mom, like, who was that that carried me across the water? You know, was, was that Jesus? Thinking of all my dad's trials and everything that we'd been through, was that Jesus, Mama? And, uh, and she said, no, mijito, it was John Bon Jovi. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> this is, I'm not telling a lie here. This is, so, you know, my sister and I just kind of, uh, like, uh, how does she even know who that is, you know, but... She would always be watching entertainment tonight, so we figured that that's, that's how she knew. <laughs> mm. Okay. This song is about my grandfather. Mi abuelito is called. Mi abuelito means my grandpa in Spanish. Abuelo means grandfather, so it's a kind of a more familiar way of saying it. My grandfather lived to be 102 years old. He died in 1991. He was born in 1889. And he was a weaver and a farmer. He made beautiful blankets on a, on a two-harness loom, much like you see Navajo weavings. And he was so renowned um, at what he did that his blankets um, hang in the Smithsonian, uh, a couple of his blankets hang in the Smithsonian Institution, uh, in the Museum of American History, if you ever happen by there. I don't know, they're not always on display, but they're in the permanent collection. Anyway, um, and he was a singer of songs uh, as well. My brother and I used to sit on the front uh, steps of his house and listen to him sing while he irrigated the, uh, the fields. He sang it. He sang psalms mostly, um, alabados he called them, praises, praise songs. They were portions of the psalms that, that uh, I don't know if he set them to music or where they came from. But anyway, uh, this uh, song I wrote on the one-year anniversary of his passing, and it's called Mi Abuelito. I mean, that's me at first, right? <laughs> the moon is 
shining on the Pecos Mountains Like a blue and silver dream And far away below the moonlit mountains You are standing in your field And in the songs that spill from your memory A shovel in your old hand Dark water in the furrowed rose You sing our lives as they used to be Mi abuelito Tomorrow morning we will carry you Beyond the village to a stony hill And rest you there beside your brightest blanket Leaves and diamonds that you wove last year Then with our song we will call for the summer stars To fill the sky like a silver dream How we will sing as we hold on to the memory Of your earthen voice on the moonlit field Mi abuelito En los cielos de ti, cantando, cantaremos de ti. Entre la luna y las estrellas, mi abuelito. En los Cantando Entre la luna y las Amor tan inmenso Que diste tu vida Por el pecado En cambio recibí 
recibes la ofrenda humilde la ofrenda humilde Señor Jesucristo de mi corazón la ofrenda humilde Señor Jesucristo de mi corazón y cuando la noche extiende su manto mis ojos en llanto en ti fijaré alzando mis ojos veré las estrellas yo sé que tras ellas cual Padre amoroso tú velas por mí yo sé que tras ellas cual Padre amoroso tú velas por mí no puedo pagarte con oro ni plata el gran sacrificio que hiciste por mí no tengo que tanto amarme recibe este canto mezclado con llanto y mi corazón recibe este canto mezclado con llanto y mi corazón Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I, I, I've never sung that song when you've been uh, on the platform. That's a, I thought of it the last second as I was singing. My grandfather, that was sung at his uh, funeral uh, by my, my three, three of my aunts. Um, and um, it, it's, con que pagaremos? How can we pay you uh, uh, with so, so great a love that you, that you gave your life as a sacrifice for this sinner? I know that from heaven you watch uh, over me at night, and, uh, and I look to heaven with my eyes, my eyes filled with tears. And then the last verse says, I can't repay you with silver or gold, the great sacrifice that you made for the sinner, but instead receive this humble offering mixed with my tears and my, and my heart. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful poem. Um, all right. Uh, this, I wrote a record many years back called The Shadow of Your Wings. It's one of the favorite, my favorite things I've ever done. Um, and it had some great uh, people on it. Uh, Vince Gill and, um, and um, uh, Dan Tominsky, Alison Krauss, Jonathan and Amanda Noel, and, and uh, different people that are just really fantastic um, uh, singers and musicians. I poured my guts into that thing. I wrote a lot of it while I was walking around Radnor Lake outside of Nashville. Um, I would get up in the mornings and just walk around that beautiful lake. Do you ever go there anymore or not really? Very crowded place, isn't it? Like, it used to be not that crowded, but it's really crowded. Um, anyway, so this is one of the songs that, uh, that uh, I wrote for it. It's, it's, um, 
I, I played this, I, I recorded this song with the Turtle Island String Quartet. They, they also played on, the, on that record. Um, and none of those guys um, are religious. Well, maybe they're religious, they're, they're, not, they're not Christians. Um, and, and it was really cool because of the, like after this song, um, all flesh is like the grass, the grass withers and fades away. The glory of man like a flower that shrivels in the sun and falls. Um, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And the, one of them goes, are those like a, ancient Hindu writings? And I said, no, no, it's, uh, you know, right, right out of the Bible, the Old Testament. And they were just, um, they were just blown away by it. So anyway, here's that song. I need more water, Kara. This isn't a dry climate, but there's something um, uh, in bloom that doesn't like my nose. Mm. Not in bloom. Somebody told me it was leaf mold from, from whatever. We don't really have leaf mold or mold at all in New Mexico. It's just dirt. All flesh is like the grass The grass withers and fades away All flesh is like the grass The grass withers and fades away The glory of man like a flower that shrivels in the sun and falls the glory of man like a flower that shrivels in the sun and falls but the word of the Lord endures forever. The word of the Lord endures forever. All flesh is like the grass The grass withers and fades away All flesh is like the grass The grass withers and fades away The glory of man like a flower that shrivels in the sun and falls the glory of man like a flower that shrivels in the sun and falls but the word That was beautiful. Kara's the only string player I, that I play with that can sing and play uh, at the same time. It's just amazing. Sometimes. <laughs> so, no, I think it's just incredible. Um, 
Uh, you know, I, I grew up, uh, when, when I was a kid, Billy Graham was, was, you know, a very famous man, and whenever he would come on the TV, my mom would uh, clear out the week, we'd get our ho homework done early, she'd get, set out our TV trays, and we would, uh, you know, watch the crusade while we ate, she would make pancakes for dinner, or waffles, or whatever. Uh, and and my, my brother and my sisters and I knew all the, all the different players, George Beverly Shea, and now I can't remember <laughs> their names, George Beverly Shea. You guys are worse than me. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, and, and uh, years later when I was at 17, I got to be a rehearsal pianist for a Billy Graham crusade that came to Albuquerque. And then after that, I met uh, uh, Billy Graham's daughter, Anne, and we became friends. I've traveled all over the world with Anne Graham, um, South America and uh, Turkey and, uh, and uh, Greece, and I can't think of all the places, Korea and the Philippines and, and uh, Amsterdam and England. Anyway, um, we, we have a long friendship. But anyway, one year I, I was singing uh, at the Cove, the Billy Graham Training Center in, in, you know, here in North Carolina, and um, she said, after the, after the seminar was over, she said, how would you like to come for dinner uh, tomorrow night with uh, mother and, and daddy? And uh, I said, oh, that's great. You know, Billy Graham and Ruth Bell Graham. Uh, and uh, I ran back to my cabin and started memorizing scriptures. Uh, <laughs> like, like, oh my gosh, I am in so much trouble because uh, I'm, I'm a horrible scripture memorizer. And uh, I thought for sure they'd ask me, you know, tell us about your favorite verse. But anyway, it wasn't at all like that. I didn't have to cough up a single scripture. And, um, and Billy Graham went to bed early. We had the best talk about, about all kinds of things. He's a, he was a, a somewhat funny man. He was serious and very int intimidating. But, uh, but he, he had a, a, a sense of humor and liked some of my stories, believe it or not. But he went to bed, and then it just ended up being me and Ruth Bell Graham and Ann Graham sitting at a table eating corn on the cob and steak and uh, baked potatoes and, and me listening to the most hilarious stories of the, of the pranks that Graham boys played on each other. Very, very um, clever and just devastating <laughs> for the person on the receiving end. But it was, a, it was just a wonderful night. And I, years after that, a few years after that, um, I was asked to write a, a song uh, about him for a radio retrospective of his life. I think it was around his 96th birthday. So I wrote this, and then not long after that, he had been given a, a CD of the song uh, that I sent him. And so uh, not long after that, I, I went back to their house to, to uh, celebrate his birthday with, with all the family, all the grandkids and kids and everything. And uh, he asked me to sing uh, for him, uh, and asked me to sing this song in particular. So I said, okay, let's go to the piano. And he said, well, no, I don't want to go over there. He said, just, just sing it here. So I had to sing a cappella you know, in his ear, standing next to his wheelchair. And with trembling, I was trembling when I sang it, but. Need more water, Kara. Hold on one second. Hmm. So the song is taken from the the words are taken from the Psalms and then uh, uh, then a verse that I wrote and then but the chorus is from this the famous hymn just as I am without one one plea and that's the name of the song. I waited and waited for God. He turned and he heard me. He lifted me out of the mud. His own hand secured me. The Lord is my help. I will not be confounded. So I have focused my face like a flint I'll not be ashamed Lord, I come just as I am Without one plea But that your blood Was shed for me 
just as I am, without one plea, but that your blood was shed for me. Take the days that remain in my life, Lord, let me serve you. While there is breath on my lips, I would proclaim you. I long for your return. I long to see you face to face. I long to join the eternal song, communion of all the saints. Lord, I come just as I am, without one plea, but that your blood was shed for me. Just as I am, without one plea, but that your blood was shed for me. Just as I am, without one plea, but that your blood was shed for me. Just as I am, without one plea. But that your blood was shed for me. Thank you so much. I just have uh, uh, one more song to sing for you. I, I want to, Jesus, King of Angels, uh, I just want to thank you for being such a terrific audience tonight. I have had such a good time. Like I said, um, uh, I've been looking forward to this night for a long time and, uh, and to play on this fantastic piano. Uh, I hope I get to do it again soon. Um, and Kara, thank you for your beautiful playing and singing. Yeah. And Kevin, thank you uh, and this awesome church for welcoming us in. Uh, yeah. There you are. Brother, thank you so much. I guess I told some stories that were a little bit crazy, even crazier than the ones I told tonight, last time I was here. Uh, but that's okay. That's just kind of, kind of what I do, I guess. I don't know. Um, I always think the music is so serious that it, 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 you know, I try and bring a little levity with stuff in between. But anyway, it's hit, it's hit or miss. Anyway, God bless you guys. This, I, I, I used to suffer for, uh, for years, I mean, uh, a couple of decades with punishing anxiety. 
uh, panic attacks that uh, just came out of nowhere, sometimes just one after another, and, and uh, it was a very hard way to live. I was on staff at a church uh, in Albuquerque, Hope Church, and I had, with these panic attacks, I also had like social phobias where I was terrified of talking to people. So staff meetings were a challenge. <laughs> um, but before a staff meeting, I literally would go in the sanctuary and just get on my knees and, and say, God, please get me through the next five minutes. I just asked for five minutes without freaking out. You know, like inside, I just wanted to crawl out of my skin. I don't know if you've ever had any of those feelings. And I'd go in there and I'd, I'd last like five minutes and I'd then go back in the sanctuary. Excuse me, fellas, I gotta, I'll go. I'll be right back. And, and I didn't tell anybody about what I was going through. It was a very lonely time. You know, my wife knew, but nobody else knew. And, and, um, and I prayed. I thought, you know, I crawled my way through life that way uh, for a long time, and I would just call out to God, and I would just think, can't you hear me? I mean, why aren't you answering my prayers? And, and you know, I, 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 he finally did, and I haven't had a, any a panic attack in, in, in many years now, but uh, it was a really hard way to be. A lot of my favorite songs, though, came out of that time, and if it was just for that, I'm, that God had me go through that, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, you know. Um, people go through a lot worse things than panic attacks, so. But anyway, here's a song that came out of that. More water, sorry. I... <laughs> mm. Jesus, King of angels, heaven's light, shine your face upon this house tonight. Let no evil come into my dreams. Light of heaven, keep me in your peace. Remind me how you made dark spirits flee. And spoke your power to the raging sea. spoke your mercy to a sinful man remind me Jesus for this is what I am the universe is vast beyond the stars but you Find me, surround me, and bind me. With all my heart, I love you, sovereign Lord. Tomorrow let me love you even more And rise to speak the goodness of your name Until I close my eyes in sleep The universe is vast beyond the stars, but you are mindful when a sparrow falls, and mindful of the anxious thoughts that find me, surround me, and 
bind me Jesus King of angels heaven's light hold my hand and keep me through this night Amen. thank you very much God bless you. Thank you.